Okay. Bonjour tout le monde. <laughs> I'm pleased to stand before you today on behalf of the Green Caucus. I'd like to start by recognizing that the land that we gather on is the traditional and unceded territory of the Algonquin and Anishinaabe people. As a member of a small caucus, I wear several hats, including critic for women and gender equality, critic for official languages, critic for indigenous services, critic for national defense and veterans, critic for health, pour de nombreuses personnes affectées, les manquements en matière de services en santé mentale se faisaient sentir avant même le début de la pandémie. Nous faisons déjà face à une crise en santé mentale et le COVID-19 n'a fait qu'aggraver celle-ci. COVID-19 is unlike anything we have experienced. At the onset of the pandemic, Canada's federal and provincial public health officials did an incredible job of uniting us under a common set of principles. Recommending school closures, rolling out testing infrastructure, implementing contact tracing, publishing PSAs about physical distancing and washing our hands. We are now being warned by mental health professionals of the coming echo pandemic in mental illness. We need to prepare ourselves in much the same way we did in early March. The pandemic has brought with it some deeply troubling realities. Le niveau d'anxiété que les gens éprouvent l'idée de contracter le virus, the wave of unemployment and the ensuing housing insecurity, the loss of community services that were helping people make ends meet for those who were already facing income and housing insecurity, the cost of social isolation isolation on human beings that are meant to be connected. Le doué que les gens vivent pour avoir perdu un proche en raison du virus ou pour avoir manqué la célébration des moments importants avec les personnes qui le, qui le sont chères en raison des mesures de protection de la santé publique. Add to that the increased alcohol consumption, the increased rates of domestic violence, and the increased rates of gun crime. The last two months have been hard on Canadians. Last Friday, Dr. Simon Sherry, a psychologist in Nova Scotia, indicated that he has seen more suicide attempts in the last three months than he has seen in five years. Numbers that of Alberta last fall connected increasing increases in unemployment to increases in death by suicide. That was before unemployment jumped 5% in April across the nation. Le coût psychologique et social qui découle de l'isolation et de l'incertitude économique est un fardeau lourd à porter. Needless to say, I'm worried. Just as we were able to predict the trajectory of infection at the onset of this virus and plan to flatten the curve, so too can we predict and take action towards bettering our mental health outcomes in the weeks and months to come. In April, the Canadian Mental Health Association called for immediate investment in the scale-up of cost-effective, evidence-based community mental health programs and supports. The answer is actually simple. We need direct funding to community organizations and provincial health services. And we need it now, so we can scale these services up in time to deal with the echo. Nous devons apporter les changements significatifs dans les mois à suivre. We need to prepare a national action plan to ensure all provinces are able to meet certain minimum standards of mental health care. And we need to implement a guaranteed livable income that will immediately and effectively remove a significant piece of anxiety facing Canadians. I'm happy to take questions on any other topic, but je suis prête à répondre à vos questions. Nous allons maintenant passer à la période de questions. Uh, nous rappelons aux journalistes une question, une question de suivi. We will now go to question period. We remind a reporter to keep it one question, one follow-up. Operator, do we have uh, any question? Thank you. Merci. Please press star one at this time if you have a question. S'il vous plaît, appuyez sur étoile 1 maintenant pour poser une question. There will be a brief pause while the participant register for questions. Il y aura un cours d'élève vous permettant de vous enregistrer dans la file d'attente pour la période de questions. Thank you for your patience. Merci de patienter. Once again, please press star one on your telephone keypad if you have a question. Vous n'hésitez pas à appuyer sur étoile 1 pour toute question. Merci pour toutes les questions engagées maintenant. <laughs> There is no question on the telephone lines. Back over to the floor. Okay. Thank you. This, this concludes the press conference. Ceci conclut la conférence de presse. Merci. D'accord. <laughs> Merci. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. I mean, it was clear, cool. so there was no question. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's good, yes. <laughs> oh, it is so warm today. Oh, my goodness. It is. It is. It is.